guys so i have a yard sale haul to do for you today it is getting to be that time where yard sale haul season is among us the weather has been kind of off and on um already we've had some really nice days and then days like today where the weather is just like cold again and it just makes you like what the heck is going on i'm so ready for springtime so as the title states i do have a little bit to talk about um as far as my channel goes i know not everyone is probably going to see this because i know not everyone who has subscribed to my expert channel watches my yard sale hauls now my expert channel started as a yard sale haul kind of channel like that's what I was mainly focused on when I started my channel was hauling and you know mainly yard sale hauls so I started to put Lush videos up because Lush was just a passion of mine as well and then once I started doing the whole bath bomb demo thing it kind of is what I feel grew this channel to where it is at currently and I wanted to kind of separate the two because I feel like like I said most of you are well most of you watching this are probably here for my yard sale hauls and I feel kind of bad that I'm spamming your feeds with Lush if you're not actually interested in them and the reason you subscribed to me was specifically you know for my yard sale hauls so I kind of wanted to separate the two and I hope everyone starts following me over on the other channel which is going to be Shell Bell. Uh, I chose that name because it was what my mom called me and it just has a lot of meaning behind it because that's just, you know, anytime she would call me, she'd be like, Shell Bell, what are you doing? And it just, you know, it touches my heart because like just using that name reminds me of her. So that's why I chose that name for my new channel. So definitely I am going to be putting my yard sale hauls over on that channel, probably like my Ipsy bags all kind of like beauty haul, subscription hauls, stuff like that are gonna go over there. This channel, I'm gonna focus mainly on Lush and bath bombs and that kind of thing, but there's still chances where I'm gonna put other stuff like, you know, this video up here on this channel. So you might still see some things over here, uh, but I'm gonna try to start moving all of my yard sale hauls and vlogs and things like that over to the other channel. I just, it was my main reasoning behind it was just because I'm, I feel for my subscribers who started watching my videos for these videos. And like I said, I'm spamming your feeds with Lush if you're not actually interested. Now, if you're interested in both, I love if you could go subscribe to my other channel so you can see my yard sale hauls on that channel as well so you don't miss out on them. I'm hoping this is a good thing and you know doesn't turn into like a bad thing like I only get like 50 subscribers over there or something and you know like no one's really interested so hopefully this all works out we shall see um but that is just basically my whole plans for uh, like the rest of this summer when I have yard sale hauls on the weekend, those hauls are going to be over there. So if you're interested in still seeing what I'm purchasing, then um, please go subscribe to that channel so you can continue to see my hauls. So I'm going to start with everything that I purchased this past week. I went to a rummage sale. Um, I don't think they had one last month. So they had just like a ton of stuff. I actually seen a subscriber of mine there. I've ran into her. I feel like I ran into her more than once before uh, because yeah, I, I, there's two, two ladies that I have ran into that are subscribed to me. And I feel, I feel like I've run into her more than one time, but it's so much fun seeing people out and about that, you know, are subscribed to my channel. It just, it makes me feel so like, soft and squishy inside so um it was really nice to see her and i saw another friend of mine that i used to work with that i don't really see very often anymore because obviously i don't um work where i used to um but anyway let's get to the stuff they have the sale 
Thursdays, Fridays, bleh, they have the sale Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturday, but I can't make it Thursday and Friday because I work, so I can only go Saturday. So by Saturday, it's fill a bag for $3. So I always stuff my bag full, and as long as your handles are touching, then you only have to pay $3 for your bag. So I've paid $3 for everything that is inside of here. So we're just gonna go over everything that I found. The first two things, I just could not pass these up. You guys know I love weird, creepy, cute things, vintage toys, all of that good stuff. I found this vintage Del Monte stuffed peach plush. How freaking cute is this? Ah, I love its little googly eyes. I love things that have eyes that should not have eyes. It's just something that makes me so happy inside. This, this one's actually called Lushy Peach Country Yumkin. So I guess it's, it's, a country yumpkin is what they're calling it. I don't know exactly, but it is from 1984. So I just thought that was so super cute. I couldn't let it sit behind. I need to wash it though. I just, you never know what's on stuffed animals. You know how kids are. I mean, I know how I am and I'm not a kid anymore. So anyway, and then I was looking through the stuffed animals and I also found this little guy and how stinking cute is this one? It's a little mushroom and he needs to be thrown in the wash as well. Like you can kind of hide him a bit with his little mushroom head or like put it up some like that. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I just love it. And this is by Somersaults by Avon. So this you could actually purchase from the Avon catalog. This one is from 1985. So I couldn't let that sit either. I just thought it was so freaking cute. So got that. The next thing I got I resell on eBay as well, which is another thing I might start doing videos. If I sound weird, hold up. If I sound weird, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. So I feel like I'm getting a little stuffy. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I might start on my other channel too, maybe doing some videos like focusing on like eBay reselling. It's basically going to be whatever I feel like putting up content wise that isn't lush or like bath bomb related. So you might see anything over there just saying so I found this hat and apparently or so from what I hear on like eBay thrifting boards on Facebook like trucker hats are kind of like hot sellers right now I don't I don't know why exactly but I'm always like attracted to the weird of things and this one was totally cute but kind of weird it is a trucker hat with a little um Pekingese design on it. This is so cute. Like I would keep this if I looked cute in hats. This is another thing I need to clean and I hope I don't regret sticking this on my head right now. I'll come down with a case of like head lice or something. See now if I looked cute in hats, like if I could rock a hat, I'd probably keep this thing just because it's so cute and funny and weird. But I just don't think I look good in hats. Uh, but it is a one size fits all. It has like the snap back. I should have stated it was like truck, like snap back trucker hats that are popular. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try and sell it after I wash it. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the uh, design on it. But if it does, it doesn't really matter because I only paid $3 for my entire bag. So I did get some clothes. I, For me, clothes at yard sales or rummage sales, like it's kind of hard to get in the mood to rummage through clothes since there's so many but so I don't really do a thorough like a super thorough look through sometimes I just kind of pull out and pick whatever I find kind of thing but this top I thought it was so super cute I thought it would be really cute for spring it's just kind of striped but with um quarter length floral sleeves I thought this was a adorable I absolutely love it this is definitely my style I love florals floral prints I just well, you can kind of tell I'm wearing floral uh, print top right now this is by a brand called go wild not sure where it originally came from but I just thought the top was so super cute so hopefully if it's okay we shall see I did I did gain some weight so I don't know we'll see Next thing I found, and I plan on selling this, it's a Banana Republic skirt. It is a size two. There's no way in heck I'd ever be able to fit in a size two. I don't think I've ever worn a size two in my life. But it is just, it's probably a little longer than uh, the knees. 
So, and it is made of 100% silk as well. So it feels really nice. It's got like a chevron kind of uh, striped print. So I thought that was really cute and just nice quality. So I put that in my bag. And since it's so small and can kind of be like bundled up real good, it's easy to fit in the bag kind of thing. So that's nice. Um, I got these shorts. These look like um, kind of like loungy pajama type shorts. They are by Cynthia Rowley. I thought they were so super cute. I loved the design on them. It's just very like boho-ish in my opinion. So I thought these would be really cute to wear to bed in the summertime. They're so lightweight. Like they're so soft. You feel amazing. So um, I plan on keeping those. I got this dress and I'm going to be selling this. This is a size, what size are you? This is a size eight and it's by a brand called Tahari. Now, oh, rummage sales. They make my allergies like go haywire and I feel like it's starting again because I haven't uh, washed any of these clothes yet. Um, so I'm not sure where Tahari is sold or how expensive it is, but this felt like really good quality. I know this past Christmas, I don't like wearing dresses. Like I hate, I hate dressing up. Um, but I went, I tried on some dresses at, I think I was at like Boscov's or something. And I felt like I looked horrible in like every single one. Cause I hate my body shape. Um, but yeah, dresses are pretty pricey in this one. Just like the quality felt really nice. So hopefully it was a good find, but it's just like a navy blue. It's got these cropped sleeves. Um, definitely needs wash. I think there's like some white deodorant, uh, product under there. But it has a zipper down the front a ways and then like kind of a, what do you want to call that? Like peplum detailing. And then it's just longer. So I thought that was super cute, nice quality. So I got that to, to sell. Because I, I know I ain't going to look good in it even if it would fit. I found these pants. This was an awesome find. Um, I haven't seen this brand in a really long time. These are by Trip. NYC. I know this was like super popular back when like I was a teenager. This brand, they sold it at Hot Topic. And these ones are just like a white and black checkerboard, very like punk ska. Um, they're super small though, a size 26 waist. Um, but I love the detailing on them. They have little skulls as the, the detailing. So um, I definitely, I bought these to resell. I'm hoping that this brand's still popular. I know it used to be. Um, so hopefully kids are still into this kind of stuff. Um, I think that they would be. So I got those. I got this hoodie. Um, I haven't tried, like I haven't tried these clothes on yet. Um, I need to wash them. So I don't know if I'm keeping this one or not. It's by a company called Earth Yoga. It says it's organic cotton, sustainable organic clothing, 45% organic cotton, and then the rayons from bamboo. Um, so it's just a purple kind of long sleeve. It's a lightweight hoodie. It's not anything like super um, heavyweight or anything like that. But the front is like shorter, it's shorter in the front, longer in the back, kind of, kind of like a mullet with... <laughs> If this piece of clothing was hair, it would be considered a mullet, right? So I got this. I thought it would be cute to just, you know, throw on over top of something, especially since the weather is kind of finicky right now while the weather is finicky. Um, just like when it's chilly out, I could throw it on. But again, I have to like try stuff on. So we'll see. Um, and then the last piece of clothing I got was this one here. And this is actually by a beer company a brewery trogs trogs i don't know exactly how you pronounce it but um they make the mad elf beer it's just a gray lightweight short sleeve shirt it says 10th annual mad elf Murin. i don't know exactly what that means um but i got this i know it's like super big i'm probably going to be swimming in it which is fine uh, i got it just to wear to work as like a work shirt i ruin like so many of my clothes at work because I work around chemicals and even though we wear smocks and gloves when we work around these chemicals it still somehow 
seeps through the smock and gets onto your clothing, your jeans, and eats holes in them. A lot of my clothes that I wear to work, my jeans all have holes in the legs, I get holes in my shirts, and it's just, it's crazy. It's kind of scary also, um, but I'm tired of ruining my clothing, so I just got this to to wear to work because I don't care if I ruin it, unless it's worth something. I'm probably gonna look it up on eBay first, so we'll see. And then the last thing, the last thing I threw in my bag, and these are so incredibly dusty. <laughs> like, I don't know if the person who owned these ever wore them. They were just sitting in their closet collecting dust. But these are some Carlos Santana heels. They look like they're brand new, but like, you know, they're just obviously not being worn. They have a crazy high heel. They're kind of like a bronze color a little metallic and shiny um i know after i dust them off and clean them they'll look a lot better because it's like an inch layer of dust on these but you can see the bottoms like they really don't look like they were worn hardly much at all maybe like once or twice and then just kind of fell by the wayside in the closet so i got these and i will be selling them because i would just i'd break both my ankles walking in something like this i am the most uncoordinated clumsy person you will ever meet in your entire life i feel like they're they are a seven and a half so i will be selling those on ebay or possibly poshmark haven't decided yet and then while I was there, they also at this uh, community center have a thrift store, which opens up an hour after the rummage sale starts. So I like to go over there and take a gander. And actually while at the rummage sale, they were giving away coupons to use at the thrift store, a dollar off a $5 purchase. So I was like, well, <laughs> I plan on going over here anyway. So let's see what I can find. So I did find a couple of things while I was over there. The first thing I got was these Clark's um, Artisan Flats. These are so super cute. They're like a navy blue color and they were $4. The leather on these are so incredibly soft. Like they just looked so comfortable. And then they have like these little like detailings here on the tops of the toes. And they look like they're in brand new condition as well. Like they don't really look like they were worn at all. They are a size seven. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep them. I haven't decided yet. We shall see, but they are super cute. And obviously, like I said, they look so comfortable. So for $4, I was like, yep, I'm buying them. Then I found this, and this was like my childhood. I found this Maple Town brand new on the card never taken off oh my gosh i was so excited for this this was a dollar and you could see the original tag it was 3.99 originally at what i believe was lionel kitty city i missed that toy store like crazy this is actually from 1986 and then you can see on the back here were a couple other um different characters and these obviously were part of um Oh, see, this one's called Miss Deer. So I'm assuming she was like a school teacher. And then you had other little like townsfolk people. Um, Maple Town is pretty much in the 80s what Calico Critters is today. Um, I grew up with the, the Maple Town. Like that's what I remember. The Calico Critters, they might have still been being made back, back in the day. But um, I always just remember the Maple Town. So... I was really excited about this find since it was still on the packaging. That's just, it's hard to find vintage toys that are still in the packaging. So for a dollar, I was like, heck yeah, I am buying that. So I got that. And then they always have this little like tub. It's filled with just kind of like junky stuff, but it's like two for a dollar items. So I picked out two things and I mainly only picked up, I only wanted the one thing, but the the shops run by like little old ladies, bless their hearts. Um, they sometimes have a hard time with the newfangled like electronic system with the cash register because they, you know, they're using the iPads and stuff now and they have a hard time and it was, 
really difficult for her to put in 50 cents. So I just grabbed another item to make it an even dollar for her. Uh, but I purchased this Suave uh, Chamomile Hairspray. It has been used. I sometimes buy these things to sell on eBay because like vintage beauty products that they don't make anymore are sometimes worth money. Um, I didn't know, like I don't, I sometimes don't take the time to look look up stuff like while I'm actually in the store. It's like 50 cents. Like if it's not worth anything, I didn't really lose much money kind of thing. So I don't think this is really worth a whole lot after I looked it up. But um, I got that and then just to make it an even dollar, I picked up this Mary Kay Red Tea and Fig uh, Body Cleanser. So this stuff smells good. I've had it before. It smells really good. I do like the smell of that. So yeah, I just picked that up to make it an even an even dollar. Uh, but that is everything from this week. I do have another yard sale haul from last week that I have not posted yet. And that one is going to be going over to my new channel. So uh, definitely, like I said, I will leave a link down in this video. I'll leave a link on my About Me page here on this channel so you guys can still continue to find my yard sale hauls. I hope you guys enjoyed this yard sale haul. I had to let me know what you thought down below. And like I said, go subscribe to my other channel if you're interested in seeing more of my yard sale hauls. The, the yard sale haul that I'm posting on there is full of lots of good stuff. It was like the first pretty much yard sale haul of, of the season right now. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.